guys, welcome back to another video. I don't know about you, but I feel like time has been flying by at the speed of light lately. Anyway, today I want to make a video that was requested by several of you. What tools do I use to manage my companies? You all know the saying, when it rains, it pours. But in this industry, it's more appropriate to say, when it rains, it forms a tsunami that tries to wipe you out. Yes. When an issue arises, it attracts other issues that all happen at the same time. So staying organized is extremely important to make life easier. And this is no matter whether you're an owner operator driving for your own company or you're a fleet manager managing your team. So let's talk about some tools you can use to simplify your life. Ready? Let's go. Number one. TMS or transportation management system. Something you will learn is that there are a ton of transportation management systems out there from Ascend TMS to trucking office to Excel. And all of these systems are supposed to keep you organized. They're supposed to manage your loads. They're supposed to manage your expense reports, your IFTA miles, your payment reports, and so on and so forth. Basically, it's an organizational tool that should help you streamline your operations. Now, what TMS system do I use? Well, I don't. So I'm one of those do-it-yourself people who likes to build tools that will fit my specific needs perfectly. So instead of using a pre-built TMS system, I built one myself using an amazing cloud-based software called Airtable. Now I found out about the system from a fellow YouTuber and his channel name is Toe Piglet. And he very correctly refers to Airtable as spreadsheets on steroids. Basically, you can build a system that will fit your needs and your company's needs. But let me show you mine. So here's Airtable and this is my workspace right here. I have my loads, expenses, audit files for the two companies. And yes, I have a very unimpressed face here because I don't like audits. Uh, cash flow. I even keep my family reports here for all the bills, uh, partner reports, payroll, etc. So let me show you, for example, the loads, the way I built it. First of all, I have uh, all the shippers and receivers here with ratings. Everywhere where we delivered and picked up loads, I keep ratings as well as which broker gave us those loads, which loads we did at these shippers and receivers, and so on and so forth. So if I ever need to look at a certain shipper, I have it all in my system. Then we have the loads button. Now in the loads button, you will see the pickup date, the delivery date, the load status, and I have either paperwork sent, booked at pickup and transit delivery or TONU. Uh, then we have shippers and receivers right here, the broker who gave us the load, the rate confirmation, uh, load number, commodity, load rate, additional detention, etc pay date and so on and it's all connected. So what I mean when I say connected, I mean I can click right here and choose a broker because I set up the system where it's that easy. It takes a while to set up, but then it becomes super easy. I also have payments. Once a broker pays, I put in how much uh, they owed, how much they paid. If they underpaid, it automatically highlights it red. If they overpaid, it automatically highlights it green. Basically, you can build out a system any way you want it. You just add a base and then you go from there. You title it and you can create so many different things here. You can uh, change the type of field it is. You can do a link to another record, an attachment. You have a ton of stuff to choose from. Now, if you guys want to learn more about this system, there is actually a YouTube channel dedicated just to Airtable. So you can learn a ton of stuff about this system. And I really highly recommend that you actually look at it and learn about it because it can be such an amazing organizational tool. Number two, invoicing and accounting. Like many others in this industry, I use QuickBooks for all my accounting and invoicing needs. And it's pretty easy because all you have to do is put in your income, your expenses, and QuickBooks generates reports like a cash flow report, balance sheets, and so on and so forth. So I highly recommend it. Number three, filing. I am an extremely organized person. 
Well, when it comes to work and documents, at least. Yeah, that's only because your brain is useless and you don't remember what you did one second ago. Well, this is very true. I sadly suffer from short-term memory loss as well as other mental issues due to a very rare condition called tired-itis. Basically, it causes my brain to fall asleep even when I'm fully awake. You are so funny. Case and point. Anyway, I use Dropbox to store all my business-related documents. And the great part is that this allows me to access those documents from anywhere in the world, even if I don't have my computer with me. Now, something that happens more often than it should is you go to deliver a load, you get paid, a year passes by, and then the broker calls you asking you for the bill of lading for that load because they misplaced their copy. And Dropbox allows me to find any document from anywhere in the world as as long as there is a good internet connection. Number four, payroll. If you're hiring employees, you will probably need the help of a payroll system to calculate your taxes as the employer, as well as your employees' taxes. Now, I use a system called ADP because they're extremely reliable and they're very flexible. Now, something I want to mention right here, be very diligent when choosing the payroll company you will be working with. Otherwise, something like this can happen. From the IRS about taxes due. Is this the owner of Trucking Made Successful? Uh, yeah. What taxes again? Well, we have noticed that you have not paid your payroll taxes in two years. Uh, yeah, I did through my payroll company. Yeah, we didn't receive any of those, so your taxes are still due. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, that's not the worst part. Unfortunately, because it's been two years, there are also late fees that are going to apply. But wait a minute, this was not me, it was the pay- Not Problem. I wish I was kidding, but unfortunately I am not. The IRS will hold you responsible as the employer for any issues with taxes, even if it's the fault of the payroll company. And this is exactly why I use ADP. I trust that they will do what they're supposed to do. Now, that being said, I also use Airtable in order to create reports for my team members so that they can see where the money is coming from and how it's taxed. Let me show you. Now I wanna show you the template of the report I created on Airtable and it automatically populates as I start filling out the spreadsheet. So you can see it shows the check date, the pay period, the name of the employee, the rate per mile pay. Then again, we pay by odometer reading. So odometer start and odometer end with the total distance, payment summary, total gross, any reimbursements per diem. Uh, taxable wages, uh, income after taxes, and net payment with the per diem added back in, reimbursements added back in, et cetera, et cetera. And this just makes it easy to understand where the money is coming from and how it is taxed. Number five, mileage tracking. When we started out, we were very lucky to get Keep Trucking as our electronic logging device because that baby tracks everything. So instead of me talking about it, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is the software that comes with the electronic logging device we use. As you can see, I can see the location of the truck at all times. Um, I covered this part because of privacy, of course. But the best part is if I go to fuel right here and then I go to IFTA summary, I can actually filter by quarters. I can say quarter four of 2021 and it will show me how many miles were driven in each jurisdiction and it makes doing IFTA so much easier. Now you can also track fuel here, but we don't. We don't track it in uh, our electronic logging device because I have a different system for this, uh, which we will talk about in just a second. Number six, fuel tracking. One huge part of IFTA is tracking all those fuel purchases. Now we use a Fleet One fuel card by RTS and it's absolutely incredible. First of all, I want to show you again the software that comes with that fuel card, which helps you find the best fuel on the way. This is a system that comes with the fuel card we use. All you have to do is put in the route. Let's say that you're going from Houston, Texas, somewhere to, uh, I don't know, let's say, um, Portland, Oregon, and you can choose the route you are planning to take. See here, there are three different routes. Let's say this is the route you plan to take, which is highlighted in blue. And right away, you see all the fuel stations on the way. 
If you click back right here, you can sort it by, for example, the lowest price. And when you hover right here, you will see it will pop out. So for example, to give you an idea, you hover and it pops out. You see that $3.13 fuel pop out. So you can see that, for example, this one is right on your way. It's not too far off the road. And if you click on it, you see how many miles away it is from your uh, location. Uh, you can see the address. You can see the price with the fuel card and the retail price without the fuel card, as well as any amenities. The second amazing thing is the management system. I can set card limits there as well as track all the fuel purchases by the dates I want so I can see how much fuel was purchased in each state. This is also part of our fuel card where I can do fuel tax reports and it automatically creates a report based on the fuel purchases. I had to blink all of this out because of privacy again but for example, you can choose a date, uh, let's say from the 1st of February to the 4th of February. Okay, let's do that. You choose uh, what kind of product you want and you click submit and then it generates the report for you. You click to view the document, it downloads and, and you can see that for example in Missouri the total gallons that were purchased were 196 gallons, in New Mexico it was 176 gallons, uh, in Utah there was some fuel purchased, so it's pretty cool and this allows you to do IFTA so much easier, so I highly recommend RTS, uh, they're pretty amazing. Number seven reminders. Without reminders, there would be no business in my case. So I use an app called To Do. I put in all the filings due, the permit renewals, registration renewals, phone call reminders, meeting alerts, feed your kids Miranda, their starving reminders, and so on and so forth. Without it, I would be lost. And this is the system I use in order to remind myself of everything I need to do because my brain most of the time forgets everything. Uh, so this is a really great system. It will remind you, it will give you alerts, it will send you messages. Once you did something on your list, you just click right here and it's gone. Or for example here and it's gone. So pretty great system to use if you need reminders, which you probably will need if you're managing your own trucking company because there is just too much to remember. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Now I put all the links of all the things I talked about down below. So if you find that some of these things or all of these things might be helpful to you and your business, the link is right down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.